Scandinavian Bob here, hi. How strict should your NoFap journey be? Well, at the end of the day, it is your life and your rules. But I want to share something that might be useful to you. When I started my journey back in 2012, I didn't have many rules. My only goal was to avoid relapsing. Over the time though, I experimented with different approaches and I came across people who were doing what you could call monk mode or ultra strict modes with no adult sight, no emming, not one single glance on hot babes on social media and no looking at real life girls, nothing. And at first I thought that was just over the top, too strict and too unnecessary. However, as I learned more about how the brain works, I realized that for most guys, especially those who are addicted, stricter rules actually make the process easier not harder. Now, before you get defensive here, I'm not saying you need to adopt these kinds of rules. But I just want to make the point that it is kind of funny how the brain works. And it sounds strange, but listen to what I just said again. Stricter or harder rules is actually easier and not harder. So why is this? Well, it all comes down to something I call the dopamine bear. The dopamine bear loves cheap dopamine more than anything else in the entire world. And if you wake up the bear when it's sleeping, it can start to go on a rampage. If you let yourself sneak a peek at something stimulating, whether it's a fitness girl on social media or some booty shaking videos, do you really think that the dopamine bear will be satisfied with just that little taste? <laughs> Not a chance. He's hungry. You see, dopamine is all about wanting more. In fact, some experts call dopamine the molecule of more. And if dopamine could speak three words, they would be go after it. It doesn't care about satisfaction. It just pushes you to keep chasing things. So when you give in to a small peak, it's usually just the beginning. The dopamine bear almost always escalates things. Now, this doesn't mean you need to panic if you come across something triggering on social media. If something pops up when I'm scrolling, I don't make a big deal out of it. I just keep scrolling past it without focusing on it and then it's gone. It's like surfing the urges. You just notice them. You don't feed them and let them pass. And when it comes to real life women, my rule is simple. I say no to pixels on a screen and yes to real life people. So if I see an attractive girl in public, yes, I allow myself to appreciate her beauty. And yes, I can notice her without making things weird. Now I'm not staring like a creep, obviously not, but I'm also not avoiding her like some people do if they have become dogmatic and started to become afraid of their natural drive. I am not afraid of my natural drive. In fact, I embrace it and incorporate it into my self-improvement journey. You see, if you use it wisely, it is like rocket fuel for achieving your goals. But again, it's up to you how you want to use it. I would say when it comes to real life situations, just act normal. Don't stare, but also don't be afraid of the natural chemistry if you see something like that. Just be present and there's no awkward vibe. But again, this is your journey. We all have different values and you should follow yours. And I also want to say you don't even need to have 100% strict rules online if you don't want to. You can try to be moderate if you want. But I'm just sharing my experience and knowledge with you here. And I actually mean it when I say it is really true that harder rules actually make your nofap journey easier and not more difficult. Especially in the online world because 99% of the time it is that word that really tends to keep us hooked and trapped in the world of shallow dopamine stimulations and not the real life world. Alright, and so if you're struggling with relapses so much so that they are seriously holding you back and you're ready to invest in something seriously effective, 
You can read about my 4 step bone crushing system by clicking on the screen right here or by using the link under the video. And oh hey guys, if you want to dive deeper into which activities are helpful or harmful during your reboot, make sure to check out the video right here, as over there you will discover some seriously important stuff.